Hi, this is Nick from Vinylizer. We've been getting a lot of questions as of late about Vinylizer's inner workings, and welcome to our private vinyl cutting room. This is one of our engineers, this is Oren. So right now, you can see here, follow me here. So this would be your audio. We have it all set up and it gets pushed through our outbound gear. This is more just to make sure that groove distances are right, more to kind of optimize the vinyl while we're cutting it. So, and at the end of the day, you actually have your stereo image coming in through this diamond style. So let's zoom in on that. So this is our magical, the lathe itself. Now, Orn was using our black vinyl, so here is our standard 12 inch and 7 inch. This is what it would look like before we put your audio on it. But once it's cut, we can see the grooves on this. We then affix your full color labels. We got something that looks like this. Hey, what do you know? Now we also have our transparent vinyl, both in 12 and 7 inch. So this is, uh, has a bit of a film on it, but once you remove it, we actually get something that's fully transparent. It looks a little bit more like this. So it's actually completely transparent. You can see behind it, you can actually see the grooves on the B-side, so I'm actually a big fan of that. The record itself is, is standard, same center weight as pressed vinyl, anywhere from 140 to 180 grams. You know, it's not going to break just like it. This is not like your standard or People hear about acetate dub plates or, you know, mono cut, lathe cuts. Uh, this is not that. This is actually a stereo cut vinyl on plastic. It is meant to be as close to pressed vinyl as humanly possible. The only real difference is that instead of pellets, uh, where they melt it down and stamp it, this is actually pre-processed as like kind of a slice of vinyl, which we then kind of mold and cut our own grooves into it. So once we've got your record, we then put it in this handy white paper inner sleeve as we have all seen over the years. And from there, we're actually able to add it to any of our, so a full color uh, cardboard jacket. So here are some examples. You can submit full color artwork however you need. You know, hey, that's what full color looks like. So in fact, you can even see we have this guy. It includes a spine. There is very little difference between the final product uh, of a pressed record and our late cut. You know, uh, for a lot of bands, uh, pressed vinyl is, there's a bit of a paywall that they feel that if they want to get the records that they want, either they might need to commit thousands of dollars to get 300, 500, a price break that's valuable to them. With the lathe cuts, you're able to get one, one, five, ten, it, it, it might not be the cheapest thing on the market, but there is a real-time element to it. We have this gentleman right here who is cutting your record, if you're getting ten, uh, if you're getting 10 units, then he's listening to and uh, and cutting the record 10 times in a row. So there is a lot of there's a lot of artisanal work that's kind of going into it. But like while they might not be the most economical, there is still uh, value in bands like beginning bands that want to dip their toes into records or see if there's any value in in selling that at their show. Or you may have a more established band that wants to create a keepsake for their loyal fans. You might have a DJ that has something that they just created and want and wants to spin on vinyl. You know, vinyl's coming back, and there are all kind of walks of life that see value in it. So, if you have, if you, if you're interested, you know, you can go to vinylizer.com and check things out.